Landry from Sounding and Sounding Trade Only. I'm in Virginia at the Volvo Penta testing facility, and I'm with Marsha Call. Marsha is the uh, Vice President of Marine Sales, and she's going to tell us about a couple new engines that Volvo Penta has uh, is showcasing here. Marsha, thank you, and um, why don't you tell us a little bit about the engines? Well, it's great that you're here today, Chris. We've got two new engines we're really excited about. The first is the V8 380. It's probably the first, it is the first um, stern new stern drive engine brought to the marine marketplace in over 20 years. The second is the V8 225. It's a detuned 5.7 block. It is also the cleanest engine Volvo Penta has ever made. Okay, and tell me, um, how does this engine um, fit within your lineup of engines? In other words, what engines are being discontinued and, and how does it fit overall? The V8 380 was introduced, the start of production was uh, earlier this year in 2012. It replaces the old 8.1 uh, block as GM discontinued that block. Um, we're in full production, we have been since uh, January of this year and it's out in the marketplace now. The V8 225 is a new engine in our lineup. It is a catalyzed engine um, uh, producing 225 horsepower. It's using a 5.7 uh, GM block. Okay, great. And um, what about the boats that we can find these engines in? Uh, what size are we talking about? What size boats? The, uh, the V8 380 is uh, being used in any in boat that has previously used an 8.1 block. It basically starts in single application about 24 feet up to in the low 30s and from there twin application up to 40 feet. Uh, the, the V8 225 can really be used in any block or any boat that currently accommodates any 4.3 or V6 sized engine um, roughly from 17, 18 feet up into the low 20s. Marsha, what makes these engines different and special than others? Uh, why should consumers be excited? The V8 380 Chris um, is probably the most exciting engine. It's the first new stern drive engine to the marketplace in over 20 years. We've, we've taken giant leaps from the previous 8.1 block. It uses a uh, General Motors Gen 4 block that's currently being used in production right now in the Chevy Silverado, the Cadillac Escalade. It is a state-of-the-art automotive block that we have then marinized to bring to the marine uh, industry. Probably the most important feature of this, of this uh, engine for performance reasons is the variable valve timing that just provides incredible acceleration not only out of the hole but throughout the entire power range. Its mid-range responsiveness is, cannot be beat. Yes, and I, I did try out uh, the engines. Uh, this We're sitting on a 34-foot uh, formula and I can attest to that, that acceleration between 4,000 and 5,000 uh, RPM. It just uh, really uh, rockets uh, forward. You also have something different here with the joystick, a new option. It's called joystick driving, right? What What is this all about? Yeah, joystick driving is a pretty exciting new feature for our diesel products. It combines um, joystick steering with autopilot. Um, the two work together. And basically what it allows the operator to do is to sit comfortably in the helm seat, make sh uh, small adjustments with the joystick, have it captured by the autopilot for incredibly leisurely long-range driving. It can also be used um, in, in, in harbor as well um, for, you know, in, in, in lieu of a steering wheel. And frankly, what you're seeing now is a simplification of the helm area. Fewer gauges, fewer controls, including even a steering wheel. Okay, and when, when do we see this? At, at a boat show soon, or? Yeah, you'll start seeing the U.S. builders uh, with uh, joystick driving in uh, probably early.